The International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant on Friday against Russian President Vladimir Putin, an exceedingly rare step for the world body, accusing the Russian president of the war crime of illegally deporting hundreds of children from Ukraine. ICC President Pyotr Ofmansky. This is an important moment in the process of justice before the ICC. The judges have reviewed the information and evidence submitted by the prosecutor and determined that there are credible allegations against these persons for the alleged crimes. The ICC is doing its part of work. As a court of law, the judges issued arrest warrants. Their execution depends on international cooperation. Moscow has repeatedly denied accusations that its forces have committed atrocities during its one-year invasion of its neighbor and branded the court's decision as null and void with respect to Russia. Ukraine applauded the decision by the ICC, with Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuliba tweeting, quote, Wheels of justice are turning. I applaud the ICC decision to issue arrest warrants for Vladimir Putin and Maria Vuvabelova over forcible transfer of Ukrainian children. Ukraine has said more than 16,000 children have been illegally transferred to Russia or Russian-occupied territories in Ukraine. A U.S.-backed report by Yale University researchers last month said Russia had held at least 6,000 Ukrainian children at sites in Crimea, which Moscow annexed from Ukraine in 2014. Neither Russia nor Ukraine are members of the ICC, but Kyiv granted it jurisdiction to prosecute crimes committed on its territory. Putin is only the third world leader to be charged in the history of the ICC, joining former Libyan strongman Muammar Gaddafi and Sudan's Omar al-Bashir. Friday's warrant requires any of the court's 123 member states to arrest Putin and transfer him to The Hague for trial if he sets foot in their territory. But the ICC has no police of its own. One thing that we should not uh, forget is the fact that um, no immediate arrest is going to happen. Eva Vukicic is an historian at Utrecht University. Putin is not stupid. He's not going to travel uh, abroad uh, to a country where he might uh, be arrested. So in some ways, of course, it is historical. I think it's possibly more likely that it will make him cling to power even more, even though nothing seems to have suggested that he intended to let go of power, right? So um, I think he, you know, the, the, it, it, it's all going to depend basically on what happens with the war and what happens to his regime. Um, I, I think it's unlikely that there's going to be a significant regime change anytime soon. Some in Moscow laughed off the accusation. Putin. This resident scoffed. Putin. Nobody will arrest him. And in war-weary Kyiv, locals were similarly cynical. Sure, it's good, but in practice, no one will arrest him, right? Unfortunately, I think that only if he dies will everyone breathe a sigh of relief. Asked if Putin now feared traveling to countries that recognize the ICC, a Kremlin spokesperson said, quote, I have nothing to add on this subject. That's all we want to say. Criminal court issuing an arrest warrant for Vladimir Putin? Well, I think it justifies it, but the question is, it's not recognized internationally by us either. But I think it makes a very strong point. Are you confident the bank, sir? Are you confident the bank's prices have calmed down? Yes. Uh, Will you assist in the investigation, sir? Will you give us a sense of your reaction to President Putin's meeting with President Xi next week? Well, we'll see where that meeting takes place. Will you have a client working on your family feelings, sir? Any reaction to how few people you remember about your family feelings, sir? Thank you for time. In Ukraine, please. He's clearly committed war crimes. Thank you. Thank you.